Okay, sorry about that. I don't know what happened. Um, my OBS crashed. And then when I brought the stream back up, you guys were acting like you couldn't see it, even though it was showing on my system that it was up. So, um, Looks like we lost a couple people. And, uh, okay, it looks like he may have disconnected. Killer402402 was actually on my server. And, uh, I'm assuming he either logged out or whatever. And I think that's why he was asking if I was friendly. Because he wanted to know if he was going to get killed if he showed himself. Thank you, Queen of the Fire. I appreciate that. Thank you, Mayday. Everybody thank Mayday for his service to the country. Mayday was a Marine, is a Marine, former Marine. Ah, you love the beard? Thank you. Appreciate that. I love it too. not quite as long as I'd like to have it, but it's getting there. Mayday is one of my gaming buddies. Pops in from time to time. Just recently got out of the Marine Corps. Been out like... Uh, or three months maybe something like that guess we better put that away grab this back out yeah since August yeah I wonder why I can't get in that door. Number one. Number two. I wonder if that, that guy is in this server under a different name now. An appropriate war story. Um, God. I don't really um, share stories from my time in the military. Um, I don't feel that... Uh, I don't think that there's a lot of veterans um, who want to talk about what they experienced. And I'm, I'm one of those. Um, guys like Mayday, who were in the Marines, um, they saw and did a lot more than I ever did. But 
I did see combat, and I did experience things, and uh, those things will be with me for the rest of my life. And I think in most cases it's not appropriate to ask a veteran uh, questions like, did you ever kill anybody? You know, how many people did you shoot? Have you ever been shot? Uh, I think that that is, a, that is a recipe for a bad conversation. Yeah, asthma is a, uh, it's a bad thing. I, uh, I have had asthma my entire life. And I didn't tell the military about it. And so it really never affected me until I probably turned 35. And I had a really hard time keeping up with the young guys, you know. I know, Danny. I know you didn't. I'm just letting you know that subjects like that are probably not appropriate to ask from a, from a veteran who's actually seen combat. I think that America in general needs to be educated on um, what's appropriate. I know when I was a young kid, I was not taught. Nobody ever told me, hey, don't ask your uncle about his time in Vietnam, you know. It was just, nobody really thought about it. And I think that you have to respect that because war is not a kind thing. Guys like uh, Mayday who were in the thick of the shit and even some of the stuff I experienced I, I don't want to share that with people I don't want to share that with my kids I don't want my kids to ever have to experience war although I believe in war no I know Mayday it's, it's just just as much as I don't like people thanking me for my service, I, I don't I don't try to discuss those kind of things. I've never been uh, never been the guy to go get a free meal on Veterans Day. I don't feel that's appropriate. I think if you're gonna thank veterans, you should do it all year round. And if you're a company and you're celebrating Veterans Day just to make a profit, I think that's horrible. And those companies should be ashamed of themselves. <clears throat> now, if you're a company like Lowe's or Home Depot, who gives that, that percentage off all year round to veterans, I applaud you. I don't think we're going to go to the coast tonight. Um, we're, uh, we're pretty looted up right now. And... I gotta keep checking to make sure this guy isn't in the server because he's got me worried. Um, I'm gonna only stream for probably a. I don't even know what time it is, so probably another half hour. I keep saying that. I've extended my time. Uh, I kind of lost track when the OBS quit on me, but um, there's some food. Well, uh, unfortunately, that is that is all too often the case, Queen. Um, I've I've lost so many friends over the years. I couldn't even begin to tell you how many, or or even their names. Um, I will share one uh, good story that is not necessarily a war story, but 
when I was in Germany, I had a kid that worked for me. And even though I never liked to uh, pick favorites, this kid was a favorite. The kid always did what I asked him. I never had to look over his shoulder. I trusted him. And uh, I knew that if I put him out on the road as a police officer, that he would do what was expected of him. And uh, fast forward a couple years later, the war in Iraq kicks off. And uh, he gets attacked in an ambush and takes shrapnel to his head and uh, ends up with brain damage and ends up undergoing extensive surgeries, uh, a craniostomy or whatever it's called where they take your um, cranium off and sew it into your stomach and then once your brain stops swelling they put it back and I mean just a the kid was a mess and um, he made a miraculous recovery and actually was offered the opportunity to stay in the Air Force so he did and uh, he realized that he wasn't going to have much of a, li a life the rest of his life because uh, even though he had recovered he still had memory loss issues and whatnot. Well, fast forward a couple years later, and uh, while he was in recovery, um, George Bush, the president of the United States at the time, visited with him several different times. And uh, they became, I guess, what you would call friends. And my friend was invited to the White House several different times for different functions and whatnot. Well, what ended up happening was my friend uh, decided he couldn't stay in the military any longer. His uh, memory loss was bothering him. He was not able to remember specifics of what had happened or who had helped him, you know, just the simple things. And uh, he retired from the military and went about his life, ended up marrying a, a woman in Texas and, uh, or no, excuse me, in New Mexico. And he just kind of dropped off everybody's radar. And then uh, George Bush invited him to one of his golf functions and he went. And George said, you know, well, what are you doing? And my friend said, well, I've retired from the military. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it anymore. And, and uh, President Bush said, no, I mean, well, what are you doing? And uh, he said, well, I'm not doing anything. I can't find a job. I, I really can't hold down anything. So I'm just living off my retirement, which wasn't much because the kid was only an E5. And... Uh, George Bush said, well, starting next week, you're going to be working for me. And so now my friend works at the, the Bush Ranch down in Texas. And uh, I don't know what he does, but he, he doesn't really talk about it. But he works for President George Bush. So that's about as much story as you're going to get. That is one of the stories. Yeah, tears. I mean, w when you have a president who loves the military, that's the kind of stuff they do. When you have a president who doesn't give a shit about the military, they do the kind of stuff that Obama's doing. Taking money from the VA to uh, house Syrian refugees. I think that's bullshit. I am not in TeamSpeak, sorry. Uh, give me just a second, I'll open it up. Connected. Yeah, it, it projects into the game. Channel switched. What's up, Mayday? If you're talking, I'm not hearing you. Alright, sorry, can you hear me 
right now? Yep. I'm gonna kill your stream because it's playing back twice for me. Yeah, that's fine. You gonna be playing Daisy for a little bit or no? I'm only gonna stay on for probably another half hour, so I've got friends coming over for dinner. The team speak is in my profile. It says this whole streaming thing going for you. Looks like it's going pretty good. Yeah, man, it's going really good if you see how many followers I got. I know, I've been saying 30 minutes for like the last two hours. I only intended to stream for about an hour today just to, to thank veterans. And uh, it, it is what it is. Hi T, what's up? I agree. This country deserves bold courageous leaders and Obama's a clown not Munich you I've actually been to Munich um, going back to the story about George Bush I'm not going to claim the guy was a good president I just think he's a, a really nice human being. He uh, he made some mistakes during his presidency. He's not a, a good public speaker by any means. I think I'm probably a better public speaker than he is. Um, but I don't think that the president of the United States is an easy job to begin with. Yeah. Two countries with shit presidents. I agree. Although, I think our uh, our current president is out to ruin America. I don't think he's got America's best interests at heart at all. Uh, Jeb Bush? I wouldn't piss, it, piss on him if he was on fire. I think he's a liberal. I think he's a piece of garbage. Can you can you paint an AK? Yes, you can. Holy shit. Do you see that? Oh no. What happened to the butt stock? What's up? Oh, I lost my butt stock when I painted my Rifle. Oh, did you? Fuck. Is that all I've got to do? User was moved to your channel. Oh my god. Whoa, man. It's like being in front of a celebrity. <laughs> it's a kind of. What's up, Albert? I was watching the stream, man. Yeah, I'm in there too. Yeah, true. What happened to the stream? Like, did it just go off or uh, like what happened? No, I shut it uh, down. I've got a uh, issue with the uh, AK. Oh, true. Well, I was asking originally if you needed help. I was wondering if you were friendly because I could help you out. I'd play a lot of DayZ. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm friendly if you're playing with me. Yeah. But I'm not friendly if I run into you. Oh, oh okay. I was just like, man, I was trying to help you out, man. I was like, I don't want to get shot in the face, dude. <laughs> yeah, I saw you were in the server, and then you, you ducked out. So, no, the, uh, the OBS crashed on me is what happened. Oh, damn. Uh, Chad, I'll be right back. I'm just trying to find another server. Uh. In the meantime, enjoy this. I don't know anything about OPS. So. While storm clouds gather Far across the sea Let us all swear allegiance To a land that's still free Let us all be motivates the hell out of me, murder. That was Madison Rising. If you don't know about Madison Rising, Madison Rising is a song. very patriotic American mm -hmm. rock band. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, dude. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I like it. Have you heard their Star Spangled Banner? No. Oh, shit. Give me just a second, folks. We're going to do one more song. 
I'll have to uh, link to you when my uh, video comes out. I just did a car commercial for the company I work at right now. So. Oh yeah. Wrong song. Let me fix this real quick. Uh. Steve's not <laughs> elfin or Hold on. Bear with me. If you're always standing at attention, my hand over my heart. So we were always taught as Marines never to salute without a cover on and as a, uh, or unless you're in uniform, and as a veteran that's out, um, any prior service can salute regardless. It does not matter which branch you came from, what you're wearing, you are. Make sure you're listening to this.
Okay, we're back. Danny, I don't know if you're still in TeamSpeak, but I wasn't offended at all, dude. Um, I was just telling you I just didn't agree with what you were saying. The uh, the server that we're on but now... Instead of uh, a war story. There we go. You, That's a little bit better. Go ahead. I was going to say, instead of a war story, you should do a, uh, a story that was funny, your most memorable moment while you were in the service. Um, but before you get into that, um, I'm on your server. Okay. <laughs> uh, Where are you at? I, I think I'm in your town. I'm, I think I'm really close by as far as I know. You're in a shed just from like the other stream. I'm just kind of running around. I gotta get my bearings back on where I'm at, actually. Yeah, I think I'm running around in your town. Here, tell me if you hear this. User was moved to your channel. Who was just moved in here? Danny. Okay. Did you hear that? No, I didn't. Can you guys see it now? I mean, it's dark, but... Yeah, I can see the stream. It's a little dark. Let me lighten it up a little bit. I usually play with my gamma all the way up on a dark service. I've just turned the gamma up as much as I can, folks, so unfortunately, that is all you get. Okay, I am um, just outside of Zelenogorsk. Yeah. And I agree with you, Queen, 100%. I wasn't born and raised in Texas, but uh, I uh, grew up in Oregon. And I joined the military oh, from Oregon. Out of Oregon, I guess. The screen is dark because it's dark on the server. And... Uh, So, when I retired from the military, I retired in North Carolina and stayed there for almost a year afterwards, um, looking for work and whatnot. Then I was, I was offered a job in Nevada, and I took it, and it was a horrible job, horrible company to work for. And uh, I didn't stay with it for very long. But I'm about as patriotic as you can get, although I fear for where this nation is heading. Okay, so funniest story in the service. God, there's so many of them. For the people that know me, like Mayday, um, Mayday's really the only one in here that kind of gets me. Um, I have a really weird sense of humor. And if you fuck with me, I am going to fuck with you back. So I had a, uh, a Volkswagen GTI, and it was a nice little car, and... Uh, I had a, uh, a bra on the front of it, a black bra, and it uh, covered the front of the car so it didn't get rock chips because the car was black. I didn't want rock chips in it. Well, uh, some somebody stole the bra off of my car, and I was pissed, and I reported it to the police that it was stolen and whatnot. Well, one of the kids I worked with decided he was going to be a funny guy and he taped a black women's bra to the front of my car and i didn't know it i didn't know it was there so i got in my car drove off no clue and it was on there a couple days maybe 
And then it, it probably blew off or something. I don't know whatever happened to it or if somebody stole it. Or I don't know. But I found out about it a couple weeks later and never had seen it on the car, so I didn't, you know, re- respond to it right away. So this kid drove a really nice brand new Camaro. And I went and I bought a license plate uh, bracket that uh, you could stick letters on, and it came with a whole bunch of letters that you could just write whatever you wanted on your license plate frame. So on his license plate frame, I wrote, I can't wait, across the top, and then on the bottom, to masturbate. And I stuck it on the back of his car, and he drove around with that shit on his car, I shit you not, for like three months before he finally found it. And people were laughing their asses off at him. So, I won that one. And people learned real quick not to fuck with me. I was pretty ruthless. A good story, a funny story from when I was deployed. I had a kid that, uh, ah, Fox and Fire's in here. He's going to try and screen, stream snipe me. Let me see. Oh, there's a couple of them in here. Bastards. Um, I, uh, what story was I going to tell? Oh, so I had this kid that worked for me who lived in my tent and, uh, he asked his dad to send him some underwear. And so his dad went to the store User left your channel. and bought um, men's thongs and sent them to him. And he opened them in our, in our uh, common area, in our tent, in front of everybody, and was really, really embarrassed by it. And so, uh, a couple days later, he had a girlfriend on the, on the deployment. So a couple days later, he had left the tent. And when he left, he left his wall locker unlocked. And in his wall locker, he had a video camera. So we took his video camera. And one of the other guys um, dressed up like a sheik. But he was only wearing a pair of the thongs. Rum Titan, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the to the chat. Welcome to the channel. Please join us in the uh, chat. Become a member of the community. If you choose not to and you just want to lurk, that's fine too. So anyways, this kid puts on this thong and he gets a, a sheik's headdress and whatnot. And he's on this dude's bed, rubbing up and down on the pillows and just being a complete ass. And uh, now, mind you, this is the kid's bed who owns the camera and got the thongs and whatnot. And so uh, we dared this kid that had the, the thong and stuff on to run out the front door of our tent and come in the back door. And he did. And as soon as he went out the, the back door... Uh, we locked him out of the tent. So he was locked out of the tent in nothing but a thong and a, a sheik's headdress for like 30 minutes, and everybody was w- laughing at him, walking around. He was so embarrassed. He was so mad at me. But we're still friends today, so. You think I did? Yeah. Where is it? Um, north of Zelenic Yeah, I'm like right at it right now, just kind of looking at shit. See if I can find something. Are you sure you're in Zelenic Holy shit, there's an off. Yay! Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Is 
Where is it about on the map? Oh, let me finish checking this thing and then get out of here because I don't want to get shot in the face, you know, like people are on the server. Ooh, I got something for you. I'm by the uh, gas station in Zelenogorsk. Alrighty. Yeah, I see. I see the gas station. It's right above you, about northeast or northwest from the gas station. Yeah, I seen you open that. Well, any yeah, fucking time, sweetheart. Sir, I'm trying, sir. Crazy Little Joe, welcome to the channel, welcome to the chat, thank you for that follow. You said Northwest? Uh, I'm actually coming to you, I'm really not that far. Or it was. Yeah, we can switch, we can switch servers. Hey, head back to the, uh, the, uh, gas station numbers. I'm like okay. right there now. I see you. Hey, before I get off your murder, um, yeah. I'm about to jump off, probably actually jump into a game with uh, Fox and all them. I just wanted to okay. say thank you for your service and everything that you've done. And if you didn't see the uh, chat that I posted in there, uh, you've been kind of like a, a mentor to me, whether you think of yourself as a mentor or not uh, to me. Um, I really appreciate everything that you've done for me. and. The advice, whether or not I listened to you, um, you didn't. You've been awesome, so I appreciate. Well, you. thanks, man. I appreciate that. And uh, thank you for the mask. That's awesome. Chopper crash is right up there. Okay, I didn't go by it. I don't think. Take me okay, to okay. it. Found this AUG up there. Yay! As soon as soon as I get to the uh, crash here, yeah, the we're going to. Uh, I'll, I'll switch servers. Mayday, are you still in here? Yep. You know they're in my server, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I just talked to them. Okay. They're not just stream checking or anything. Just well, they can, I don't care. Why you find these chop cracks and just look at the smoke? Right. Oh, okay. I I followed that tree line down. Yeah. Ta-da! Lots and lots of stuff. Or at least there was. Picked up a nice ACOG site. Oh, there's another Styrog here. Oh, really? Yeah. What magazines does that take? It takes it takes the uh, C mags as well as Stanag. Thank you, Killer Whale. Appreciate that, man. It takes what now? C mags and Stanag. You can only find the uh, ammo in the uh, magazine that chopper crashes. Okay, cool. This is good find. Yeah. Uh, they're asking us to uh, find another server that's not dark. Alright, I, I think I'll find you. Uh, you want one with people on it or you want one with no one on it? Um, either one's fine. I would prefer it not to be real full. Alrighty. Um, yeah, I can find the server. Oh, um, shit. You know what? Never mind. What happened? I I'm going to have to log out. Oh, friends? My company just got here, yeah. Yeah, alrighty. But hey, I appreciate you playing with me and uh, getting me that mask, and uh, we'll hook up again. Uh, if you want, I can fix up your vest before you log. 
Yeah. Here, just drop it real quick and I'll fix it up for you. There you go. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. I'll catch you probably tomorrow. All right, man. So, before I uh, shut down the stream for the night, I want to uh, do one thing. I guess we're going to have to listen to the uh, commercial here. Okay, I just want to thank uh, everybody for coming and watching. God save the queen, says Jolly. Um, I appreciate you all coming and, and hanging out and chat. We had a great uh, stream today, uh, quite a bit longer than what I expected to do. I only expected to do maybe an hour, and I think we're probably well over, well over three hours. Um, for all the new people, uh, please make sure that you um, like and follow the, the channel. Uh, catch me when I'm streaming next, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, I had some great interactions uh, with the uh, chat today. Well, I love it. Blaze Wizza, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the Madhouse. Papa Nichols, welcome to the channel. Um, uh, this was kind of an improp impromptu uh stream i wasn't sure if i was going to stream today or not and i'm really glad that i did because uh, we've picked up several followers we've had some great interactions with the chat today told a couple good stories um listened to some good music watched some good music videos um just had a really good time and i appreciate y'all coming in and supporting me um as i said at the beginning of the stream or sometime during the stream i've only been streaming a little bit over a month and so to have this many people, uh, last I checked, we had eight people actually watching. Well, any fucking time, We're at 15 hard. right now. Sir, I'm trying, sir. Papa Nichols, welcome for the uh, follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. Please join us in chat for conversation. Um, I'm not going to hang up right away. I'm just kind of ending, ending this stream, trying to get to where I want to go. Uh, 10. Okay, thanks. Um, so, uh, I, I just want to thank all the American veterans and uh, the veterans everywhere, honestly. Um, signing a check to your country that they can cash at any time well, at the cost of your life. Hard, 
Sir, I'm trying, sir. Maconan five, thank you for the chat or for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. Uh, please join in chat with us. And we're just kind of talking right now, hanging out. Um, so, writing a check to the, to the government and, and allowing them to cash it at any time, at the cost of your life, uh, the sacrifice that you make, uh, being away from your family for deployments and uh, exercises and whatnot. Uh, I don't think the civilian sector really quite understands what that entails. And uh, I did it for 22 and a half years. So my experience is different than a guy who maybe does it for like four years and decides to get out. I made a career of it. I don't regret it. Uh, I do have some regrets, but serving is not one of them. And so... I just want to thank all the veterans. It doesn't matter to me what country you're from. Uh, it's still a uh, selfless act to serve. And uh, no matter what you get in return for it, it's not enough. And so for everybody who just joined Foxyzilla, um, Crazy Little Joe, McConan, Papa Nichols, Blaze Wizza, um, Jolly Came Back, um, uh, Felix Wolf, uh, I appreciate you coming in and saying thank you. It's not necessary for me. Um, I'm kind of one of the guys that likes to hide in the shadows and not be thanked. But whatever. I mean, it, I do appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Um, but as we roll out of here, I just want to uh, I want to play one more video. And we've played it a couple times, but it's one of my favorites. And... Uh, I gotta find it here because I know it's on the screen. I just gotta find it. Let me get it up here. Don't take that the wrong way, Foxy. Because I know you will. Um. So, a lot of people don't know this band. And it's really unfortunate because they are one of the great um, up-and-coming rock bands in my eyes in America. And beyond that, they're very patriotic. And a lot of the songs that they write are uh, songs written either about military service or just patriotic in nature. We've played this one probably two or three times. We're going to play it again as we roll out of the stream. Uh, I have met this band. I've met the, the lead singer. The lead singer and I have a uh, common friend. And uh, when they were here in the Reno area, uh, I actually went to their show and um, got to meet with him afterwards. And it was really, really cool. And he took the time out of his busy schedule to spend a couple minutes with me. And that was really cool. So uh, this is David Bray and Madison Rising. And enjoy. One second here.
Okay, so the question was just asked in uh, chat, in which section of the military did I serve? What, well, I served in the United States Air Force, and I was a uh, military policeman for probably about 15 years, and uh, the other seven I did as a firearms instructor, still in, in military police, um, but I was a firearms instructor teaching uh, firearms to uh, other people in the military. And uh, thoroughly enjoyed that. I am a gun nut, so it kind of went hand in hand with my personality. Thank you, Danny. Um, again, I just want to thank you guys for uh, hanging out with me today. And uh, as I said before, uh, it doesn't matter to me what country you served for. Uh, I do appreciate your service. And uh, I think we're just going to roll out of here with that. Um, I will catch you guys later, and uh, I might possibly be back on tonight, but I, I highly doubt it. But anyways, thanks for being there for me, and uh, I will catch you all later. Thank you. Much love. Murder for Hire out.